Well, nothing quite like a midweek match day. And tonight we had some hardware at stake over at Southwest University Park. El Paso Locomotive FC with a chance to clinch the Copa Tejas table with a win or a draw against San Antonio FC. I say it's time to start stacking up some uh, trophies over there at the downtown ballpark. Certainly a lot at stake in this one. And a little bit of a different lineup thrown out by head coach Mark Lowry that included goalkeeper Logan Ketterer on the bench. And early on, Ben Buried gets burned in net by Justin Dillon, who finds the back of the net in the 10th minute. Just like that, 1-0 bad guys to the 27th minute. SAFC is going to get another opportunity off a rebound, and they capitalize. Matthew Duplain with the goal. That makes it 2-0. Not looking good for Los Locos at the half. Then, second half, they would come alive. 57th minute off the corner from Dylan Maris. Maka King finds the back of the net on the header. So, the lead cut to just one. Still plenty of time left, right? In the 73rd minute, El Paso would get level. It's Nick Ross off the right foot. And remember, all Locomotive would need is a draw to clinch the cup. But, hey, they're thinking win. Diego Luna going to come up here with the go-ahead goal in the 85th minute and it looked as if Locomotive would come away with three points but as they were setting up the uh, cup presentation San Antonio would strike in the 94th minute. This match ends in a 3-3 draw. Kind of a downer the way it ended but hey Copa Tejas belongs to El Paso. It's important for us to get our first trophy I think. It's been a long season already and I think we've deserved some sort of recognition for the hard work we've done, the performances we've had. We're still unbeaten at home, which is a, a huge thing after 23, 24 games I think it is. So yeah, we're disappointed we didn't win. I think overall we probably deserve to win, but we'll, we're happy with the trophy and yeah, staying undefeated at home. Yeah, that's now 22 unbeaten at Southwest University Park. Next up, a short turnaround for this club. They'll play at Tulsa on Saturday. Here's a look at the updated standings in the Mountain Division. Locomotive still with a sizable advantage, eight points up with six matches to play in the regular season.